I'm here with this week's special guest on Superstars of the Semi-Impossible. It's Brandon Bond. Brandon, a lot of people would look at your shop and say you're just a normal tattoo artist, but I don't think you're normal at all. I think you're a man who has done the Semi-Impossible. Tell me about yourself. Well, we definitely have uh, done the Semi-Impossible on many levels, you know. And Depends on what you're talking about. Well, a lot of people would say you're just like the, another tattoo artist. What makes you different from the other tattoo artists? I do own the most successful published and award-winning studio in the world. Wow, how many awards have you won? I have no idea. You know, I, a, a lot. We use them as target practice now, you know, <laughs> as you walk through the studio. We ran out of room, you know, so we take them out to my ranch and we shoot them. I'm Brandon Bond, and I do the semi-impossible. About some of the things you want. Well, I, you know, I was International Tattooer of the Year a couple years in a row, which wow, you know a lot of people freak out on. Yeah, it's, we uh, came in to see some of your awards. Now, what's this one over here? Well, it's the a very lovely Lakota right. right next to the toilet. We like to hook up our people with a view, and uh, yeah, the Artist of the Year award goes there. Wow! And actually, you see what I'm saying? Like we ran out of room for award basically no one from Atlanta works here we and what we have is a it's like the Yankees I mean you know we're, we're hated because of it but it's it's stacked of just artists 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 of, of the best artists in the nation whenever we see somebody winning all the awards nationally and getting articles and doing all that we immediately bring them in so you're like the George Steinbrenner of tattoo artists, is that correct? In a way, the yes. Somebody out there buying whatever he wants. He, he's like, a, you know, some, the big corporation, the, the greed monster of tattoos. Is that what you're telling me, Brandon? Not at all. But it, on a level of success, yes, the Yankees, it's a good analogy. You know I'm a baseball guy. Yeah, could you be the Chicago Cubs of tattooing? I mean, well, come on. because they always lose. Come on, when's the last time the Cubs won anything? It's true. You know, other than a sympathy award. How long does it take I'm to say, say becoming, uh, you know, you're the tattoo artist where maybe you're doing a butterfly on somebody's arms into the, the, the art that you're doing now? How long did it really take you to achieve this? It, at least a decade. Um, and a lot and of that's that, in between all the partying and wild behavior. I'm telling you. Yeah, I still feel hungover. <laughs> you know, living in Las Vegas, New Orleans, like, come on. So tell me some of the famous people who you've done tattoos for. 50 Cent, Floyd Mayweather, Nas, the rapper. Hey, wow. Uh, okay. Nas is awesome, actually. I got nothing but, good, nothing but good stuff to say about him. We're Really, we're doing a lot of professional baseball players now. Right. The bats behind you is, is a how did How did that come about, where you started doing the baseball teams? You know, it's just like the rest of my life. I bought season tickets to try and get away from work. And next thing I know, I'm tattooing 16 teams. Like, I can't go anywhere. 16 teams? So who was the first baseball player you did? Peter Moylan. Peter Moylan of the Braves. What's the most unusual tattoo request you've ever had? I tattooed on a swinger couple. Uh, the woman had very small breasts. Okay. The man really liked large breasts. So jokingly, I said, well, let me put some nipples right back here and then look on the butt. So cheek. somebody Maybe wanted their boobs on their butt. Yes. Now that's what I call semi-impossible. <laughs> what semi-impossible thing haven't you done? What would you like to do now? You know, I'd like to do less. To be honest with you, it's like a freight train and, and I'm putting the brakes on and I just want to hang out with my dogs and get drunk in my swimming pool. Right. And Hang out with your dogs and get drunk in your swimming pool. Who wouldn't want to do that? It's the well, Brandon, thanks a lot. And you truly are a guy, Brandon Bond, who has done the semi-impossible. I just found something that's unbelievably semi-impossible that this man can do. Sir, what is your name? Pierre. Pierre, let's see your semi-impossible talent. of magic tricks with your hands and fingers, here's this week's semi-impossible challenge of the week. Here's this week's semi-impossible challenge of the week. I don't know if I said that right, but anyway, I encourage you, try this at home. Oh, oh, semi-impossible. Oh. See you next time.